Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be tying a golden stonefly nymph. Most of the materials that we're going to be using is stuff out of a craft store or a fabric shop. Makes for a nice little nymph. Hook I have in the vise is a Sabre size 12 dry fly curved nip to 3 extra long. The weight on the fly is going to be 020 lead wire, 10 wraps, right in the middle of the shank. I'll crop the off. Wrap it in there real good. The thread I'm going to be using is a Royal Sissy 75 denier. You can use it. Uh, Different colors, gold, brown. This fly here, I just showed you, had a gold head to it. Wrap it in front of the lead. Push the lead up against it. In behind it. That way, you keep it right in the middle. Pull wraps over top of it. Good. Cut away your tag end. Now we're going to add a chain bead eye. This too is from the Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Hobby Lobby policies, but they have an app that when you go in there, you can get one purchase for 40% off. And that's how I purchased this. Don't recall what I paid for it, but it wasn't very much. Take your eye and just lay it right on top, in front of the lead. Give about five wraps. Five wraps the other way. This will straighten everything out. Five more wraps. Now take your thread and go up and under the eyes. And then wrap behind it. Do five more wraps in either direction. And then secure it in front. Just like that. Alright, go ahead and wrap your thread back. The next craft store material we're going to use is this baby blanket yarn. It's called Velvet Baby Blanket Yarn. It's a chenille size. It's real thin. It's not the regular baby blanket yarn. What's the regular baby blanket? It's about that thick. It's this is uh, much thinner, much more fly tying friendly. Take a small section of it and with your lighter burn the end of it. This will secure it, keep it from fraying on you, and it looks pretty good. So lay your baby blanket yarn right on top and not very long, maybe uh, about uh, half the hook shank, maybe a little longer than that, three quarters of the hook shank in length. After, I should have showed you this first, put a little dab of super glue right on the thread. Not too much or you get sticky fingers. This will just help secure everything in here. Alright, measure it out again. Wrap it in. Wrap it back to about the top of the bend of the hook. Take your scissors, cut away the excess. And now you're going to take 
this turkey or this uh, goose feather. Take two strands from either side, or just from each side. It's going to be your tails. You want these to be pretty long. Lay it right up against there. Wrap it in. Same on the other side. Take two little strands of it. Do the same thing. Measure it out to be the same length as the other one. About like that. Wrap it in. And there you go. Now you're going to take a piece of this 3M show band medical tape that they use for wrapping uh, gauze around your finger if you cut it or taping up your arm after blood work. How I started initially using this stuff is I got some blood work and got this big old chunk of bandage from them and I thought boy that looks just like a good old nipskin and it works well. So cut it to size. You want it about, uh, what's that, about uh, a little more than a quarter inch in thickness. You're going to lay it right on top. Bend it right over it. Stretch it out a little bit. It's real stretchy stuff. Bring it right back. To the baby blanket yarn. Alright. Yeah, wrap it in real good. Take your thread back to the front. Now you're going to add a piece of this Lush Loft Mustard Yarn B Yarn. It's real fuzzy stuff. Also got it at Hobby Lobby. Tie it in, right in the front, give it a couple wraps, make sure it's good and secure. Now overlap, right on back, touching wraps. See how nice and fuzzy this is? Looks pretty nice. Right to the back here. And when you get back, start bringing it back up. All common material, easy to find. Right back in the yarn section. I bought it mainly for uh, like egg patterns. But I do uh, like it for this. Good, tie it off. Once you get it tied off, go ahead and cut it away. Let me wrap it in a little better than that. Alright, looks pretty good. Now, you're going to add some hackle. Hackle I'm using is this brown hen. I bought it. <laughs> Alright, the hackle you're going to be using is this brown hen. I bought it specifically for stoneflies. Love the color of it. 
take a feather that you like. Just like that. Go ahead and uh, rip away all the stuff that you're not going to use here. All the fluff. Just makes it much easier to handle that way. Take your feather, grasp at the very top of it, strip it back, lay it right on top, right behind the eyes, and go ahead and wrap it in. Fold it back, wrap over top of it, everything's good and secure, you can go ahead and cut away that excess. And now you're going to wrap your hackle in. What you want to do is wet your fingers a little bit. i got my Dixie cup again. Stroke all these feathers back. And wrap it in behind a thread. Wrap all that hackle in. Once you get it all wrapped up, go ahead and tie it off right behind the eye. One more time. Go ahead and cut away that stem there. Fingers a little wet again. And just stroke everything back. Tie them in real nice. Okay, just like that. Now you want to take your three M tape here. Lay it right over top. You stretch it, you kind of pull all the nice look out of it there, all the dimension out of it. So don't stretch it too hard. Just enough to where it looks like a wrinkly body there. I'm going to wet my fingers again and I'm going to make his hackle lay down a little bit. Just like that. All right, take your thread, wrap it in a couple times, pull your, oops, pull your 3M tape back, wrap in front of it, now you can stretch it up pretty good, cut it away, a couple more wraps, now here's what I like to wrap in front of the eyes a couple times. Pull that hackle back. And then around the other eye a couple times. Make sure you get in there real good. A couple more times like this. And now you want to go ahead and whip finish it. Like I said, nice and easy materials to find. Cheap. You can buy these real cheap. The yarn, this uh, Lush Loft, was like six bucks, I think. Five forty-nine, but you got that coupon for forty percent. Comes out pretty cheap, about three bucks. So that's a lifetime supply. You'll be rolling it on down to your children. Alright, now you got yourself a nice little golden stonefly. We're going to take some Sharpie and we're going to make some markings on the back like a stonefly has. I'll show you as we go along here. The 
just take a V there. We'll give it another V here. Take your yellow, or you can get some gold, but this yellow works pretty well. Color in the back. Take your UV finish. Well, first, what I've been doing before I've been finishing it, taking my toothbrush and brushing it out a little bit down here below. Get those legs to look real nice. Made my thread a little bit, didn't I? It's all right. Now I'll take your UV. We're going to get under these of it here in a second, but first we're going to spread all this. Try to be careful with it because if you don't, you'll get globs of it all through your yarn there. Alright, great. Down below, I'm going to trim this up a little bit here. Actually, it looks, looks pretty good, a little hairy there. That way it's Looks natural. But we're going to put some UV on that thread so it don't come apart on you. Actually, I uh, noticed it when I'm tying it that yarn shows through on the bottom. Actually, it looks like a mouth. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Get the light. Quit dropping it. Gonna zap it up here. Give it a good zap. Got a lot of UV on there. If you do get a little UV on your yarn, or you can just actually strip it right off of there. It comes right off. And there you have it. You got yourself a golden stone fly, mostly of craft store material or a little bit of medical tape. Common stuff you can get anywhere. You can get that medical tape, I'm sure, at Walmart or any other uh, CVS. Coming out nice. Beautiful looking nip. Alright. Hope you like it. Tie one together. Go fish it. Give me a comment how well you do with it. Give me a subscribe if you do like my uh, video series. Give me a like on this video if you like it. And I hope you do well with these. Stay safe out there. It's springtime. Time to go fishing.